I told yep. uh, Ryan to hop in so we can hit your follow-up question real quick. But if you don't have a charger, then we can we can hit that later. Well, I don't have a charger, but I'll stay here until it's dead. John, just real quick, wanted to say hello. Hey, were you lurking there the whole time? I, I was. I wanted to listen. I was on my, my desktop doesn't have a webcam or mic, so yeah. I just turned on the video and wanted to listen, but I, I'm jumping on my phone, wanted to say hello. All, all good. Well, hey, I, I hope we, uh, I hope I didn't miss anything with the, uh, with that jersey that you guys donated. And um, again, incredibly thankful that, uh, that you guys were able to make that happen and how great to have some representatives out here in Cooperstown. So again, thank you. And, uh, and uh, I hope we hit all, everything we need to hit on that one. No, no that was, happens. that was awesome. Yeah. Thank, and thank you, John. I know we came at you with this last minute and uh, appreciate all the, the scheduling and all that good stuff. And as always appreciate uh, you guys having us up there. And of course that was uh, still something we talk about a lot. So very, That's very awesome. appreciative. Who delivered the damn Jersey pieces to Cooperstown? Hands up folks. All of you, all three of you. And Ryan Canella. We had we had a four man crew. Oh, four okay. Person I, crew, four person crew. When did that happen? In October of uh, of of twenty eighteen, and I can attest to uh, to John's earlier comment about the the fall foliage up there. It oh, yeah. I was taken aback. Like it was it was gorgeous. I really truly enjoyed the the drive up there. The weather was great when we were there. Um, it it was fantastic. Yeah, we're lucky, man. I mean talk about a bubble we're in such a bubble right now with everything that's going on in the world um but it's really it's a special place i'm glad you guys were able to experience it firsthand because it's hard to explain it to people what you want we're so out of the way in a lot of ways and you know what this museum is what it represents what cooperstown's all about it's really hard to explain it without having someone come and experience it on their own like the four of those people, like the job. you got to come listen. On your own. Like the four people, it took four people to take one package to Cooperstown, New Jersey's. Uh. <laughs> Look, it was a conscious decision. I think, um, you know, John, when you reached out, I think our first question was, or I mean, you asked for the jersey, and our answer was immediately yes. But our first question was can we bring it to you instead of mail it? And that was a, a conscious decision. And then Ryan, I mean, you can probably elaborate more. You were the one that had the conversation with, with ownership that um, said, you know, go beyond just dropping it off. Yeah. It's, you know, when we got that letter, obviously it was, it was as humbling a, as a moment I've had in, in my career is to, you know, to see that what we did here and, you know, little Myrtle beach caught attention of, of the country and, uh, of the hall and, and the, the asked to donate it, we were, we were really blown away. And I, I think Hunter, Hunter may have been the one that came to me and said, we had the request and I, I said, well, let's, let's see if we can hand deliver it instead of putting it in the mail. Uh, I had been to Cooperstown one time when I was about probably eight, eight or nine. So I vaguely remember it, but you know, knew, knew it was a special place. So, you know, uh, John and his team were, you know, uh, allowing us to come up and, and get that first class experience. So I, I called Chuck and uh, Chuck's our owner. And I said, Hey, Chuck, we got this awesome thing. We're going to fly in in the morning, drop it off and fly back that night. And he said, no, he goes, if you're going up there, you guys got to spend some time. You got to really uh, get that full experience. So we ended up spending two nights uh, up in uh, New York, one, one right outside of Cooperstown and then one uh, in Syracuse. So we were able to check another box of having a beer at another minor league ballpark with our, our friend uh, Jason Smorrell with the Syracuse Mets now. And, and it was just one of those trips that I think, you know, 20, 30 years from now, we'll look back on and just be like that. That was still one of the highlights of, of everything that we've done. So, you know, thank you, John. Thank you to everybody at the hall that, that made us feel special that day. Um, you know, the, the amount of pictures, since then of other people that we've known that have gone to the hall and have taken a picture of our depth awareness jersey and have sent it to us. It's, it's really cool to see how far that, that reach has grown. Well, Anybody uh, else want to jump in now and talk about how badass the Hall of Fame is and rub some more salt in a wound? Feel free. Who's next? Hunter, where you at on this one, dude? I think Ryan, just, kind of, <laughs> Ryan mentioned it. I mean, it's like, like and, and Chuck said it too, it's like the, you don't know when this is going to happen again. Um, I think in that recap video that we made, 
uh, Ryan even said, we hope that it happens again. Um, but certainly it, it, it's, there's, there's moments in, I guess there's moments in your career that you know that you did something really, really cool and that you're in the middle of this really cool experience. And that was definitely one of them. Um, I think to see beyond just the, you know, the hall of fame donation, um, like I'm, I'm in the same boat as Ryan. I, uh, I hadn't been to the hall of fame. I think the last time I went, I was eight years old or 10 years old. It was the middle of winter. Um, and, uh, to go up there with a, a much broader scope of appreciation for, for not just, um, what we're doing, but, but the game in, in itself, um, <clears throat> you know, you, there's a gravity to that and you feel that. Um, and that's, and that's a really cool thing to be a part of. It's something that, you know, you can never really take away ever too. It's going to be, it's preserved in history. Um, but, uh, then to see the impact of what, uh, deaf awareness night has done, um, beyond just, uh, our night. Um, you know, we've done it twice. We were going to do it a third time this year. We're going to do it next year. Um, other teams have done similar variations and, and that's such a cool experience to get when you get phone calls from other teams, not just even in our baseball league, just in other, other teams in general asking how how can we do something like this i think that's really cool and that goes to what what shesta was talking about is preserving the history and 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 making sure um it, it moves forward and, and and people do keep doing it and, and keep reinforcing that messaging it's uh it's it's humbling and it's it's something that i know personally i it might be one of the proudest moments of my career and and uh it's led to a great, uh, great relationship with, uh, with Shesta in the hall and uh, looking forward to going back at some point. That's awesome, man. But looking forward to having you back here and, um, and everything you just said, it, it just, it kind of warms my heart because, you know, that's why we do what we do, both from the standpoint of documenting the game's history, um, making sure that, you know, we're able to collect these most important pieces of, uh, of what happens on the field and, and how people are interacting with the game, how people are connecting with the game. You know, baseball, there's no one baseball fan. There's no one, one you know, uh, description of a baseball fan. Um, so, you know, when you walk through our museum, you're gonna see not only what happens on the field, but it's the cultural side of the game um, that we also celebrate, you know, of course we have Babe Ruth's bat and we have, um, you know, Albert Pujols artifacts related to his greatest feats just to go from past to present. But it's also about documenting how people are connecting with the game and, um, and how the game is opening up to, to new uh, groups of people. So, um, you know, we have an exhibit about women in baseball, an exhibit about the African-American baseball experience, um, Latino baseball influence. It's all kind of, it's all a part of our mission. It's not just what happens on the field. Um, and that's what's so special about what you guys were able to do. Um, great concept, amazing idea. And, and like you said, not only here in Cooperstown, but just across, across baseball, across the country, the impact that you've had. Um, where other teams are reaching out and thinking about their promotions and how they can go about making this kind of impact in their local communities. So kudos to you guys. And on the other end, um, just having the group of Pelicans representatives that came in, you guys are all such big, dedicated baseball fans. And whenever we have that chance to welcome baseball fans like that really get it and enjoy um, what we're doing here, it just make, it gives us gives us you know the 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 added juice to keep it going. Um, that's what we thrive off of. We just we thrive off of the energy, and and love the fact that uh, that baseball people like you appreciate what we're doing here. So thank you. Well, Anybody else? No, I think we covered it all. And honestly, I, this was super impromptu, so I appreciate you guys hanging on. But when you said you wanted the follow-up, Adam, I figured we'd just uh, take care of it real quick and do another pod after the pod. Oh, oh cool. Pod. Well, I appreciate you guys. No, thank you guys for your time. It's been fantastic to listen to, and um, hopefully we can do it again soon. Hey, everybody have a fantastic weekend.
For more beer and baseball, subscribe to our podcast and the Myrtle Beach Pelicans YouTube channel. You can also follow the Myrtle Beach Pelicans on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Until next time, cheers.